Hey, what's going on? Today, Barbecue Brothers and Sisters, we're gonna do something super easy and super fast. It's wicked popular right now, and I think you're gonna love it. You're in the mood for a little Mexican? Well, how about doing some queso? Queso, queso. We're gonna take a twist on the classic queso recipe that's really popular on social media right now, and we're gonna cook it in the big green egg. We're gonna put it in a Dutch oven, and get some smoky goodness going and it is gonna be amazing. Join me. So first things first, we're gonna set up our big green egg. We're gonna bring it up to like 350 degrees. I'm doing this direct, but you could use the plate setter if you wanted to. Because I'm using a Dutch oven, it doesn't really matter if you do it direct or not. You just obviously wanna be careful if it's like a thousand degrees, you'll scorch the bottom of the pan. So first things first, let's go over our ingredients list. Liquid gold, everybody. Yes, it isn't technically even a cheese, and you may not even have to refrigerate it, but it's gonna be delicious in this queso recipe. So we're going for a full block, two pounds, 32 ounces of Velveeta. We are going to use some cheddar cheese. So we already bought the ground up stuff, but you could use whatever you would like. I also bought a thing of Chorizo, the Mexican variant of sausage. Now, my teenage son's like, ew, you just ruined it. You put sausage in it. Somebody slap him and tell him that this is not your traditional sausage. This is Mexican sausage, much different. I'm doing a red pepper, and this is gonna bring me to a very important point in this video. While we are getting up to temperature, this baby is gonna go right on there because I want it to get fire roasted. Also of importance is the jalapenos. We are also going to take these and put them directly on the fire to get a little bit of char going on them so we can have the fire roasted jalapeno. What else do we have? A Vidalia onion. This is optional if you're not into onions. I uh, don't have to use it, but I like this and I am going to dice this up and actually put it in the Dutch oven first before we get things cooking because I want to get this browned and cooked. And of course, I've got some tomatoes. And tomatoes, again, are another optional thing, but this adds a very nice flavor to our mix. Let's get these diced up and we'll see you in a second. All right, just a quick note, really quick for you. Jalapenos are super spicy. If you just chop them up with all the seeds and the amount we're doing, it's gonna be a very spicy dish. Now you can wear. Talk to me about how much of a baby I am. Maybe I'm not a real man, but I don't like all of the seeds in my dish. So what we're gonna do is we've, we're gonna cut them in half and we're just gonna scrape out the pulp and the seeds where there's a lot of spice. I am wearing gloves as well and you don't wanna touch your eyes or other areas until you wash your hands. I'm pre-cooking the chorizo with the onions just to make them a little bit less raw because you don't really want raw sausage. So I'm just sauteing those up and the onions are nice when they're cooked fully as well. I'm going to add my other ingredients right now. I've got my jalapenos diced up and also my red pepper. I'm going to put that right in the mix. Now just a note of caution, we really don't want this to saute for too long because we it's going to cook in the cheese and we don't want everything to get like mush mush. Now we're going to add the tomatoes and we got to work fast. Again, we don't want to cook these too much. Now the final ingredient, cheese. Fun fact about Valveda, this is what they originally coated the astronauts' suits with when they did moonwalks, because nothing could destroy it. Two pounds. We're gonna cube it into like one inch cubes. Now that we got these cut into the one inch cubes, we're gonna put them right in the mix and we're gonna work quickly at this point. Uh, we're going to add some extra pellets as soon as we put this in to get a little extra smokiness on it. Now, on social media, some of the folks like to put everything in a tin and then stick it right into the egg and let it cook. And it looks all pretty. However, layering this with the onion and chorizo on the very bottom, it's going to give it some crispity crunchies that we kind of like. We're going to stir this in in just a second and it's all going in the same place eventually to a big molten lava goodness. 
Now we're going to add the extra pellets as well because we want a lot of smoke. We're going to give it a stir. Awesome. We're going to let it sit for maybe 10 minutes. Should be done by about then. I think it's just about done. It's only been about eight minutes. Let's check it out. Oh, look at that. Wow, that looks really good, doesn't it, Cy? Now we're gonna add one other ingredient and that is more cheese. Why? Because your cardiologist said yes. And then we're gonna mix this cheese in with the other cheese. And then we're gonna get our Lipitor prescription refilled. Oh yeah. Daddy-like. All right, now we're gonna spoon some of this goodness into our bowls. The cheese is completely melted. Wow, this looks really good. We wanna take it off the heat right away so the cheese doesn't burn. What I'm gonna do on mine is I'm gonna garnish it with some Spanish olives. Mmm. Because they remind me of martinis. All right, let's try one, shall we? That's really good. I can taste the smoke on the cheese. Chorizo is great. The potato, uh, potatoes. The tomatoes are still not fully cooked, so they're not super mush. And uh, there's a good kick from the jalapenos. I really like this a lot. I really do. Feed you, oh, hey, Sai, how are you? Feed me. Feed you? <laughs> good boy. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you don't mind, throw a comment, like, subscribe. We really appreciate it. Stay safe.